Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. I have sort of a, well, I have a confession to make about my journey. So I wanted to pop in today and make that confession to y'all. I didn't have time to um, sit down to do this video. So I just, so at the beginning of this video, I just inserted some old um, body shop videos I've shown y'all in the past. And of course the good stuff about this video is coming soon. Now today we will be talking and looking at my thighs. Um, YouTube flag remove advertisement. It doesn't pop up as a suggestion or anything. The last revealing video I did, which was on my breasts. So in order for anyone to see that, it has to be shared with them or they have to come to my channel. So guys, don't forget to share these type of videos. I hope they are helpful because YouTube will not share them at all. It's just interesting to me how we Women can, and men can be so revealing on their channels, so overly sexual, but you know, people like me put up videos that are more educational, they get flagged and removed. It's, it's weird. YouTube, as well as Facebook, is just weird. So throughout my journey, people have told me how open and revealing I am about my journey, about my skin, about everything that I deal with. But there's one thing that has been holding me back completely in life and on YouTube, and that's my thighs. Now, if you've been rocking with me for a while, heck, if you've been rocking with me for the last two years, um... Think about my videos you will realize that you've never seen me sitting down I've never did a video where I'm sitting down meaning that I'm showing my whole body from like let's say my knees up I didn't realize how insecure about my thighs I was until about a couple of years ago I started getting contacted by television shows so at this point I have been I've turned down three major television shows because of my thighs now what initially happened was when the first television show contacted me of course I was so freaking nervous and then I started looking at my body comparing my body well the lower half of my body comparing that to formal guests that have been on the show and I was just sitting there like I've lost at that point over 200 pounds and I still look so large and I couldn't get that out of my mind because of my thigh area I couldn't get that out of my mind so I turned down that show and I turned down two different other major shows after that now as I sit here in this moment I regret that because of course you know that would have grown my channel and just helped my journey as a whole if I would have done those shows so I regret it but I still remember how I felt in that moment and that's the same thing for workout videos. Yes, I've posted, you know, a video here and there recently, but I never did that before. Um, and I really haven't, in my opinion, been that revealing in those videos that I've recently posted. Um, I just, you know, I felt like how can someone so bottom heavy, you know, show anyone how to lose weight with exercise it's like no matter how much you accomplish or for me it was like no matter how much I accomplish I still can see continue to psych myself out so the kitchen was the only place that I can really show you guys oh, my legs but no food or appliances was harmed or contaminated during this demonstration I do love the fact that I have to lift my leg for you guys to see the looseness because it doesn't really really show uh, with me standing up which is a good thing in my opinion because if I would have lost those 300 pounds really fast I know that the looseness would be way worse jiggle jiggle my weight loss anniversary is coming up and I will be doing a video and a weigh in and all of that but as I weighed in at 186 this morning and you know as I edit this video and as I was looking at the pictures it's still very hard to 
wrap my head around the fact that I am, I weigh a hundred and some pounds. The way my thighs spread when I sit down is crazy. I feel like it makes me look so much bigger, but I do understand and I, I, I realize it now I didn't for a really, really long time. You know, I had to wrap my head around the fact that it is just the looseness, you know. I weigh 481 pounds and it's just the looseness and I just have to continue to repeat that to myself. I'm sweaty because I just left the gym and I ran to the store to do this video for y'all. But on the plus side, when I'm sitting down like this, I get I get guys to come up to me and holler at me way more when I'm like this. <laughs> People be like, damn you sexy. I don't even want to stand up at that point. <laughs> because once I stand up, these thighs go south and everything goes flat. And that's funny because I really have to be careful about jeans because when I'm standing up, I can fit certain jean sizes perfectly fine. But when I I sit down my thighs spread so much yeah it gets uncomfortable so in shirts I now wear a size 6 I used to wear a 6x um, in jeans I wear anywhere from a size 10 to 14 I used to wear anywhere from a size 42 to a 46 and in my bus area, I used to wear a 50 triple D. Now I wear a 36 double D. I wear 34 double D too, but I'm most comfortable at a 36 double D. I don't really want to get too much smaller than what I am now. I've said that from the beginning of my journey. My goal was never to be skinny. I enjoy having hips and thighs and butt and all that great stuff. And we will talk about that more in my next weigh in. So this is my reveal video. This is me completely letting down my guard for the world to see. As always, I hope that you guys found this video beneficial. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and click on that bell for upload reminders. And is there any part of your body that you feel like may be holding you back? Let us know below. Thanks again, guys. I love you and I'll see you soon. Mwah.